Hi guys, so today I'm just going to make a quick video all about um, like what my staple vegan foods are because I know it's really difficult when you come onto a vegan lifestyle or even if you're just trying to eat more of a vegan lifestyle like you may, may not necessarily be fully vegan but I'm aware that a lot of people might think well what do you eat and I do get a lot of questions myself like when people find out I'm vegan and they don't necessarily know me um, they will say things like what do you eat? do you eat lettuce like you know oh you just eat leaves you know that typical vegan talk so um i basically just want to share with you guys what my personal staple foods are this does not mean that if you want to go vegan you have to eat all these things these are the things that i choose to eat um and sometimes i branch out more and i will buy more things this, these aren't the only things i eat they are just my staple foods and the things that i would buy if i was just doing a basic shop and yeah, so I've made a list on my phone um, just so that I can categorise them into different um, parts for you guys. So we'll start with dry foods. So for dry foods, I typically buy potatoes, bread, rice, pasta, oats and cereal. Um, again, sometimes I buy more things, like sometimes I like buy a lot of lentils and things like that. But at the moment, this is just the things I stick to. So uh, potatoes, obviously you can make so many things with potatoes, jacket potatoes, uh, you can do mashed potatoes, I don't really need to go into it, like it's quite obvious, and they're just, yeah, really good for you. Bread, um, now I try not to eat too much bread, but I am a sucker for bread, so yeah, I usually have bread with things like, I use, it's with bread it's just usually toast that I have, so avocado on toast and peanut butter on toast and things like that. Uh, rice I cook a lot of for like my bre um, not breakfast sorry for my like lunch and dinner dishes so like I usually cook rice with like veggies and then just put like a nice sauce on top um, pasta the same I know this is a really really weird thing to try and I don't know why I tried it or how it even came about but I'm obsessed with pasta and hummus like just pasta just hummus sometimes I'll add kale but it's just the most delicious dish ever like it's so simple and people think, people always say to me, that's so weird, why are you eating pasta and hummus? But try it, honestly. Um, oats, obviously I just have porridge um, and I also put some of my oats in my smoothies just to add more carbs. Um, cereal, now cereal for me, I don't really have a lot of it, but it is just so good if like, you're really hungry but you don't yet want a meal so you can just grab some cereal like I don't need to go into it everyone knows what cereal is okay well, so for fruit my staple fruits are bananas and with my bananas I always make sure that they are like brown ripe like some people think they've gone moldy at this point but they haven't this is when they are but well, they are better for you at this stage because the little starches have turned into sugars so it's better for your body to digest and if you have digestive problems like myself um, they're just it's easier for you to digest them at this stage also when you have brown and spotty bananas which are then but are ripe you can then um, freeze them when they've gone if they're if they're really ripe and you don't plan on eating them anytime soon you can freeze them and then you can turn them into um, banana ice cream for breakfast which is really healthy and so yummy um, avocado is like my bay I love avocado so I always have avocado on hand uh, frozen berries I always have frozen berries purely because it's just so easy just to put in the freezer and then when you need some for like smoothies or porridge just whack them on it takes two seconds so easy so for veggies I always have kale and spinach these are just two really healthy greens that I can just pop in any meal um, into my smoothies anything it's just really easy and sometimes I freeze them too because they can go off really quickly so if you freeze them, then obviously you can just grab them whenever you want and they don't necessarily go off too quickly. Um, onions and garlic, obviously just for flavouring. And then I always have peppers, carrots, um, lettuce, cucumber and tomatoes. And these are just like my staple veggies, which I will add to salads, add to my like pasta and rice dishes, um, burritos, I oh, love burritos. So for tinned foods, I always, always have baked beans. I love baked beans. So um, I'll... I just have these on jack of potatoes or toast and sometimes I even will cook rice and beans together. It's just so yummy. 
I always have kidney beans on hand. These are just really easy then to um, put into my meals with like rice and some other veggies. Chickpeas again, love chickpeas. Chickpeas, rice, a nice sauce, some veggies, best meal ever. It's like chana masala that you get from the Indian. If you've never tried chana masala and you're vegan, try it, it's so yummy. Again, chopped tomatoes, easy as a sauce just to throw on anything. And then my other things that I buy, which I haven't really put into like a specific category, uh, um, so for smoothies, I always have chia seeds, cacao nibs, maca powder, um, and also cocoa powder. So chia seeds are really healthy for you, and I just whack them in my smoothie just for extra nutrients. Cacao nibs, so yummy. These are like a really healthy alternative to um, chocolate chips. Add into my smoothies. Maca powder, again, I just add these in for extra nutrients. Cocoa powder, you can make chocolate smoothies out of them, which are really healthy still. Milled linseed, again, you can get these anywhere and I just get them in a little packet and I just put them in my smoothies. Coconut flakes, I buy to just put on top of my smoothie bowls or on top of my ice cream. Uh, dates, again, if you make a smoothie with bananas, dates and co um, cacao nibs, oh, and cocoa powder, perfect chocolate smoothie, healthy, amazing. And dates are also good because they are full of calories, so if you want to just add some more calories into a smoothie, swap some dates in. Hummus I always buy, I love, as I said earlier, hummus and pasta, hummus on toast, hummus on the side of every meal possible, if I can. Soya milk, always buy because I love tea. Got my cup in now. So I always have my soy milk for tea, and also for cereal, and for my ice cream I always put soy milk in there to make it more thick. Um, and then my last thing on my list is peanut butter. Love peanut butter, easy healthy fat to get in as well as avocados. Put on toast, put on the side of your porridge, yum. So that's all for my like basic staple foods. Again, as I said earlier, I do sometimes buy more things or less things. These are just what I'm currently buying at the moment when I need to just go and do a quick basic shop. That's everything I have to tell you. So just, this video is basically just showing you guys that it is so easy to eat a vegan lifestyle and it's not necessarily expensive. I buy most of my stuff from Aldi or Sainsbury's or Tesco's and even my local supermarkets so it's pretty easy. So yeah, thank you for watching guys.